Will the new T-Mobile data cap affect the SpaceX Starlink partnership? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time today. We have a little bit of misty morning and focus combination. So good, so good. That zing, that bergamot, love it. Hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. We're gonna be talking about SpaceX and the T-Mobile partnership that has been going on for the last year or so. Nothing has been brought to fruition, but there is a partnership going on. Anyways, I think that this is an interesting article that I was reading over on Cord Cutters, and I want to bring it to your attention and see what you think about it. It's going to be a short video. I just want to bring this once again out to you, and I want to hear from you. What do you think is going to happen with this? And it has to do with that partnership. Will this partnership be affected by T-Mobile or Deutsche Telekom's decision to bring a data cap to their T-Mobile home internet service? Now, there's one other negative besides a data cap, but they're also going to increase their price. But I want to read this article to you and then give you my commentary on it. As always, I want to hear from you. So down below at the end of this video, let's have a discussion. All right, I wanna hear what you have to say about this. Once again, it's not about me, some talking head here. It's about the community, all right? So anyways, before I get into it, I just wanna say if you enjoyed this video, as I always say, throw it a thumbs up, that's very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you very much. Click this little button over here so when I go live, when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And if you wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, you can give a dollar or two, click this little button over here. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more Starlink content, I put together a Starlink playlist with about 237 videos. <laughs> I'm not joking, go check them out. There is a lot over there, helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to buy, what not to buy, what to do, what not to do. More importantly, it's the why behind all of it. Also, if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, check them out, they're free. Go to jcristina.com forward slash books. And if you're looking for a VPN, check out PureVPN. The nice folks over there gave us a promo code, which is jcristina, or you can use the URL jcristina.com forward slash VPN. Anyways, now that the housekeeping is all out of the way, let's check this out. Once again, this article was from Cord Cutters, and I think they got their information from The Mobile Report, giving everyone their just due. So the article starts out by saying, Last week, T-Mobile announced that it would be raising its price on its 5G home internet service. Now, not only did T-Mobile just raise the price of its service to new customers, but it has also added a data limit to the service. <sighs> SpaceX Starlink tried doing that, right? They were going to add a data cap for quite some time, but they ended up not because they got so much blowback. Anyways, the article continues. With the new limit, 5G home internet customers who use more than 1.2 terabytes of data in a month may see their speeds reduce, according to the newly updated help page on the T-Mobile websites, first spotted by the Mobile Report. T-Mobile says this limit may or may not result in a drop in data speeds depending on network demand. T-Mobile has always warned it may slow down 5G home internet service depending on network demand, but now it has set a hard limit on when that may happen. Once again, that is 1.2 terabytes or 1,200 gigabytes. Depends on how you want to look at it. As of last week, T-Mobile will charge $60 a month, a $10 price jump for its 5G home internet service for new customers. That price includes auto pay or you will have to pay an extra $5 a month if you don't use auto pay. So that would be $65 per month. T-Mobile customers with a voice line can get the service for $50 a month. The other big change last week is that new customers will not be locked into a price for life. T-Mobile says it will allow customers to cancel their service and offer a free month if the price goes up. Current customers will get to keep their rates for life as long as they make no changes to their service. So don't change anything 
or you will no longer have that rate for life and your price will be going up. Right now may be the right time to do it as T-Mobile is offering a $150 prepaid MasterCard for all customers who switch to T-Mobile Home Internet for a limited time. Worried this service won't work for you? T-Mobile is now offering a money-back guarantee to new customers, letting them try T-Mobile Home Internet without worry. With this offer, T-Mobile Home Internet customers will get a 15-day test drive test drive is what they call it, to test the service. If they do not like it, they will receive a one-time bill credit to refund them for the service. Now, as of today, there was an update to this article and it said this, T-Mobile reached out to Cordcutter News to clarify that this is not a data cap, but a limit that would result in your internet slowing down. Now, I don't really care what you call it, a cap, a limit, I don't care. The bottom line here is once you hit 1.2 terabytes, guess what? Your internet is going to go <laughs> The problem is, is how much <laughs> is it gonna go? I don't know, they don't tell us. Is it gonna go from 5G to LTE to 3G to 2G? I don't know. I remember this happened to me once with AT&T. I was using their service, of course, their phone for a long period of time, and all of a sudden my phone started slowing down. I mean, it was like a snail's play. I thought something happened here. There had to be something going on. Anyways, the bottom line here was one of my kids ended up using a ton of data. They didn't know about it. There was like videos playing in the background or something, and the phones, all of our phones, slowed down to a snail's pace. I contacted AT&T and their service person, their support team, tried getting into my phone to figure out what the hell is wrong with it. They couldn't even do it. That's how slow it was going. <laughs> Literally not even 2G. It was going so slow that their equipment couldn't test the line. They ended up having to remove that throttle just to be able to get into it to see what the hell is going on. And that was just it. It was throttled so damn slow. So anyways, what are they going to do? What is Deutsche Telekom or T-Mobile going to do? How slow are they going to make it? How slow is slow? I don't know. None of us do. So my question here is what will happen between the partnership with SpaceX, Starlink, and T-Mobile and Deutsche Telekom? We see that SpaceX, Starlink tried doing this back months and months ago. I reported on it many, many videos and it didn't work out. They had to walk it back. There was so much blowback from the community, they just wouldn't have it. There was no way for SpaceX Starlink to do a one terabyte data limit. That's what they wanted to do. Once you hit that data cap of one terabyte, they wanted to slow you down or you were forced to purchase priority data, as they called it. Well, once again, that didn't work out. They had to walk it back and they said, you know what, that's it. I told you guys that was going to happen. Now, why did I say that? The reason I said that is because I saw that SpaceX was now introducing the version two minis and understanding that the version two minis were 4X the capacity, I said, you know what? I don't think they're going to need to slow people down. And that's exactly what ended up happening. Because you think about it like this, all right? There's a pie, right? And everyone wants a piece of the pie. And let's say there is 10 people at this party. Well, if you cut the pie into a normal eight pieces, let's say, there's two people that are gonna go without pie, go without data. Well, people are not gonna stand for that, right? They want their data. How are you going to fix the situation because you have one pie? The only other way is to make 10 pieces of pie, shrinking the amount of data or pie that everyone else gets. That's it. There's a finite amount of pie. That's all that there is to it. So at the time I said, you know what? They're not going to have to worry about it because it's 4X the capacity with these version two minis. So there's gonna be four times the pie. So instead of being forced to cut the pie into 10 pieces, limiting everyone's data, now they're gonna have four pies. So there can be eight pieces in every pie. So you end up with 32 pieces. There's only 10 people at the party. Huh, we have extra pie. <laughs> we have extra data, right? And this is similar to what could happen here with Deutsche Telekom. They might look at this and say, you know what? We have plenty of pie to go around. And if we go down this road, there might be way too much blowback. And that is what this all comes down to. Remember guys, if you take a phone, right? And I wanna sell this to you. 
and I say, well, I want $500 for this phone. And you say, eh, I'll give you 450. That's the most that I'll give you. And then I ask another guy, I want 500 for this phone. They're like, eh, I'll give you 440. The bottom line is, is the value of this phone, its worth is only the maximum that anyone is willing to pay for it. That's it. So that phone will only be worth $450. That's the maximum that anyone will pay for it, period. The same thing holds true with the internet and anything else. The maximum amount that we're willing to pay is all that they can get out of it. The same thing holds true with the data caps. If you data cap this service, people might be saying, hey, I'm gonna go instead of with T-Mobile home internet, I'm gonna go with Verizon home internet. Or maybe I'm gonna go with the brand new AT&T internet air, as they call it. Same kind of thing. It's a possibility. The other side of it is if people are willing to pay that $60 per month and have that data cap of 1.2 terabytes, <sighs> AT&T and Verizon will do the exact damn thing. Why? Because people are willing to do it. Don't be willing to damn do it. Complain about it. That's the only thing that we can do as consumers. That is it. Anyways, guys, I want to know what you think about this. Is this of interest to you? Bear in mind, I am using T-Mobile Home Internet. I'm using AT&T U-verse, and I'm using my dishy, which is Mr. Bevel, SpaceX Starlink for the last 27 months. So I have three ISPs here. Why? Redundancy. I actually take those three and I bond them together. So when I go live on Fridays, we don't go down. The JC Live show that I do with my wife, uh, Fridays at 8.30 p.m. for the most part. Every once in a while, we might miss one, but we're there most of the time. Anyways, guys, I want to know what you think. Is this something of interest to you? Do you currently have T-Mobile internet? Do you have the AT&T home internet? Do you have the Verizon home internet? What do you think is going to happen with this? What do you think may happen with the partnership between T-Mobile, Deutsche Telekom, and SpaceX Starlink? Is there going to be some type of speaking between the two and say, eh, you probably shouldn't do that. We're going to be losing customers. Because Elon Musk is an extremely smart man, right? So being an extremely smart man, he might look at it and say, you know what, guys, you probably shouldn't do it. We didn't do it. And the reason being is this, 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 and this. So we'll see what happens. Once again, I want to hear from you not this talking head. It's all about us, the community. Down below, let's have this discussion. Anyways, guys, take a moment to head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the very many years. Hopefully there's something there that you like. If there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. Check out the merch and the teas and all the stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.